so today we are going to see about uh, cultural media so uh, it is one of the most important question and uh, it, it can be asked for university exam and uh, it is most important topic for uh, practicals and most important for microbiology to understand microbiology so uh, what is cultural media a microbiological cultural medium uh, is a solid or liquid substance that contain nutrients to support the growth and survival of the microorganisms so what are the constituents of cultural media constituents of cultural media are water and electrolytes peptone agar and uh, meat extract yeast extract blood and serum uh, these all are added in a different proportionate and uh, different types of medias are created for for the bacterial growth so next coming to the types of cultural media based on the consistency the cu cultural media is divided into uh, solid medium semi solid medium and liquid medium so i want to tell you like uh, liquid medium is is also called as broth medium and a semi solid and solid how uh, normally every medium is uh, initially a liquid medium then later it is converted into the semi solid and solid medium liquid me uh, liquid medium we will add agar uh, for your note agar is a, agar is a substance which converts liquid to semi solid if more agar is added it becomes uh, it becomes later become the solid so when you add 0.2 to 0.5 a percent of agar to the liquid broth it will become the semi solid if you add little more agar it will become the solid medium uh, means agar has an agar don't have any nutritional growth for the bacteria but it just provide a solid solidified medium for the growth of the bacteria next based on the me method of the growth detection they we have conventional cultural media conventional cultural media are simple basal media enriched media enrichment broth uh, selective media differential media transport media and anaerobic media and uh, we and also uh, after conventional cultural media we have automated cultural media also so let's start with uh, conventional cultural media conventional cultural media in that first simple basal media first we should pre prepare a simple basal media it is prepared by using peptone water first peptone water is peptone 1% nacl 0.5 and uh, water Pep uh, when we add uh, some amount of meat extract to the peptone water it will become the nutrient broth and uh, and when we add 2% agar to the nutrient broth it will become nutrient agar so you can see here nutrient broth is a liquid and when we add agar it will become ag uh, nutrient agar means it will become solid liquid become solid when we add uh, some amount of agar to it and next is semi solid medium when we add 0.2 to 0.5% of agar then it will become the semi solid medium okay if we add more more percent of agar it will become the uh, nutrient agar if we if we don't add agar it will become the broth next uh, in conventional cultural method we have created the simple basal media which helps in creating all other medias like uh, enriched enrichment every other in what are the uses of simple basal media simple basal media is for testing the non fastidiousness of the bacteria they are serve as a base for preparation of many other cultural medias and they are used for bacterial growth curve and for biochemical tests like oxidase test catalase test slide agglutination test etc and a study for colony morphology and pigment demonstration and uh, in semi solid medium is used for demonstrating the motility of the bacteria and uh, maintaining the stock culture means bacteria cannot be uh, cannot be stored in a laboratory for long period of time uh, so we can we, we can use this uh, basal media to uh, to use as a stock for the bacterial growth so here you can see this is the peptone water and this is a nutrient agar nutrient agar is pale yellowish in color next coming to the enriched media enriched media the world itself says something we have added which promotes the growth of the bacteria that something is blood serum and egg blood serum and egg increases the uh, gro uh, growth efficiency of the bacteria next uh, it on, uh, enriched media it helps in growth of fastidious nutritionally exacting bacteria also next in enriched media there are four blood agar chocolate agar low effluent serum slope and blood culture media first coming to the blood agar uh, blood agar is nothing but the nutri nutrient agar but we will add 5 to 10% of sheep blood to it so it will become the blood agar in blood agar we can see alpha hemolysis beta hemolysis and gamma hemolysis alpha hemolysis is partial hemolysis and uh, beta hemolysis is complete hemolysis and gamma hemolysis is no hemolysis next coming to the chocolate agar chocolate agar is the blood agar only but when we when we add 5 to 10% of sheep blood to, uh, to the molten nutrient agar at 70 degrees celsius means blood agar when heated becomes the chocolate agar and hemophilus influenzae does not grow on the blood agar reason hemophilus influenzae requires uh, factors like factor 5 and factor 10 which are present inside the rbc so when we heat the when we heat the blood agar the constituents which are present inside the blood come out so and then this hemophilus influenzae can utilize those uh, factors and promotes its growth next is low effluent serum slope which is used for coronary bacterium diphtheriae and blood cultural media so here you can see this is a nutrient agar 
sorry sorry this is blood agar blood agar is nothing but the nutrient agar when we add 5 to 10 percent of sheep blood to it and chocolate agar when we heat the blood agar it will become the chocolate agar next coming to the enrichment broth enrichment broth is uh, enrichment it, it is a liquid medium added with some inhibitory agent which selectively allow certain organisms to grow and inhibit the others it will it will inhibit some few of the organisms and allow the selective organisms to grow examples for this are tetrathionate broth for salmonella typhi gram negative broth used for isolation of shigella selenite f broth for use for isolation of shigella alkaline pepton water for vibrio cholerae this is the en enrichment broth next coming to the selective media selective media is a solid me solid media containing inhibitory substance that inhibit the normal flora present in the specimen and allow the pathogens to grow what is our motive behind the cultural media we ne we need to grow the pathogens and that's why we should inhibit the normal flora which is present inside uh, inside the specimen taken so uh, we will add some inhibitory agents which will inhibit the growth of the normal flora example for selective media are Uh, Lowestan Jensen media th uh, for mycobacterium tuberculosis, thiosulfate TCBS agar that is thiosulfate citrate bile salt agar for Vibrio species, uh, DCA that is deoxycholate citrate agar and xylene lysine deoxycholate agar for Salmonella and Shigella. And next is potassium telluride agar for isolation of Cornubacterium diphtheriae. Here the selective word itself says that like it is selective to few of the organ microorganisms. So here are the examples. So here you can see this is the LJ medium for Mycobacterium tuberculosis and this is TCBS agar for Vibrio cholerae. This is the DCA that is deoxycholate citrate agar and this is XLD uh, that is a uh, xylene lysos xylene lysine xylose lysine deoxycholate agar. Uh, it's very hard to spell them. Like uh, DCA we can see uh, yellow color colonies uh, with black center and in uh, XLD we can see the red color colonies with black center. transport media the word it meant the word itself says which is a medium which helps in transport of the microorganisms from the laboratory for uh, from specimen collection to the diagnostic purpose so here is uh, some transport media uh, nesiria has a ims medium and stewards medium vibrio cholerae has venkatrama ramakrishna medium and autoclade seed water clary blair medium for shigella and salmonella buffered glycerol saline and clary blair clary blair medium for your remembrance we are dealing with the conventional cultural media that is simple enriched and all this we have covered simple enriched and enrichment and selective media next we are going for differential media differential media differential media means the word itself is saying we are going to differentiate between two organisms that differentiated uh, differentiation is based on the group of a bacteria using an indicator which changes the color of the colonies particularly group of bacteria and the other group uh like uh, lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting etc uh, first we, first the mcconkey agar which is the most important uh, most important media which helps in di di differentiating microorganism based on lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting uh so here you can see they differentiate the organisms as lactose fermenting that pro which produces pink color colonies example e coli and non lactose fermenters uh, which produces pale color colonies uh, example shigella so how it, how mcconkey agar is prepared it is prepared from Uh, some mnemonic called as PLAN that is uh, peptone lactose agar and nutrient red and torocolate is also added in differential media we have mcconkey agar and clad agar clad agar is uh, cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar which is also similar to the mcconkey agar so here you can see this is a mcconkey agar which differentiate between lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting bacteria and another one is a clad agar which is also similar to the mcconkey agar these are the differential media which helps in differentiating the organisms next coming to the anaerobic cultural media anaerobic cultural media which helps to the growth of anaerobic microorganism example the clostridium uh, clostridium which which grows in the anaerobic environment example example for the media which maintain the anaerobic environment are robertson cooked meat broth which contains the chopped meat particles which which provide a glutathione a sulfhydryl group containing reducing substance and unsaturated fatty acids this uh, uh, this beef heart which is uh, meat broth is prepared from the beef heart which helps in the growth of anaerobic micro anaerobic microorganisms other anaerobic cultural media are thioglycolate broth anaerobic blood blood agar brain heart infusion agar neomycin blood agar egg yolk agar phenylethyl agar bacteroids uh, bile exclusion agar here you can see here you can see this is the robertson cooked meat broth here downside are the meat particles when bacteria growth grows into it it will cover, cover color color changes to black color and uh, next is a thioglycolate broth ne uh, this one is a monophasic medium that is brain heart infusion broth and this is a biphasic medium uh, that, that is also brain heart infusion broth this is also known as castaneda castaneda's broth castaneda's cultural media here you can see the liquid is also present present and solid is also present it means some amount of agar is added to it this contains no agar 
so we have some automated system also that is backed alert 3d back uh, backed alert virtuo and another one is backtech so most important is backed backed uh, backed alert 3d which is also a cultural media and it is a very automated automated machine so you, you can see here the picture so what is the principle behind the back back color 3d is it is based upon the colorimetric detection what is the principle of colorimetry uh, the amount of a change in color is directly proportional to the concentration of any substance present in it uh, so when bacteria multiply they produces carbon dioxide that increases the ph ph increases ph means it becomes basic which in turn change the color to of a blue green sensor present on the bottom of the bottle to yellow color so here you can see this is the bottle which is con 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 color changes from blue green color to the yellow color yellow color indicates the positive and uh, this is the back color 3d and you can see this is a bottle back color blood culture bottle which is in bottle which is inserted here which helps in easy identification of the uh, microorganisms uh, and upside here it is a back color virtuo it is automated blood culture system so this is to differentiate between the nutrient agar mekanki agar and blood agar nutrient agar you can see the pale yellow pale it is pale yellowish in color and uh, mekonki agar it is a it is a cultural media so uh, we can you can see it is uh, pale opalescent like you can see like uh, back side back side things next is blood agar which it is uh, fully opaque and you can't see what it is written when it is kept on a paper bakwas this is for differentiating uh, three cultural media that is nutrient agar mekonki agar and blood agar nutrient agar is pale yellowish in color and um, you, when uh, and next is mekonki agar when you hold mekonki agar in your hand you can see your fingers next in blood agar uh, when you hold blood agar in your hand you can't see your fingers it is fully opaque next uh, here you can see the uh, the smallest bottle here is a cooked meat broth robertson cooked meat broth and uh, other two big bottles are known as mccartney's bottles and the uh, one which is present in the middle it is kashnadas medium kashnadas biphasic media biphasic medium is it contains two that is brain heart infusion agar agar and broth it is liquid of it contains little amount of agar that's why it has some amount of liquid some is solid next is toro colored broth this is a, another cultural media which is helps in anti antimicrobial susceptibility test, testing here, here here we we test the uh, antimicrobial resistance uh, antimicrobial resistance of few microorganisms which are resistant to few of the antibiotics uh, so here the cultural media used is a muller hinton agar muller hinton agar and the method is the dis diffusion method so along with this uh, we fin i want to finish here with the first part and uh, for upcoming more videos on microbi micro microbiology practicals and uh, for main exam preparation so stay tuned please subscribe and share your friends so see you in the next video until then jai hind jai bharat